Hey, welcome to Breakwood Carpentry. Um, in this video, I'll show you how I built this really easy workbench um, and outfeed table. This is me just trying to be cool with a truck loading shot, but clearly I was struggling. Somebody come help this guy. If you stick around till the end of the video, I'll break down the pricing for all these materials. Now I have a general idea of what I want to build, but I need to decide the final length and width, as well as subtracting the wheel top and bottom plate from the leg height in order to ensure that the table is exactly 36 and a quarter inches. I'm going to be using this as an outfeed table for my table saw, which is 36 and a half inches, so I need to make sure I stay within that number. The wheels were just about five and an eighth inches, but this shot makes them look just under five. I'm also going to be cutting a five inch piece to put on the bottom of all four legs. That way, instead of screwing into end grain, I'll be screwing into the edge grain. It's a lot stronger that way. So here I'm just breaking down all of my measurements so I can create a cut list. The height of the wheels, bottom plate, and top is seven and three eighths. So I need to subtract that from my overall height of 36 and a quarter and you get 28 and 7 eighths for the height of the legs. At this point in the process, I wasn't sure how long I wanted the bench to be, so I only cut out the eight leg pieces that would get screwed into L's and the four width pieces that I decided would be 38 inches. One piece would connect the legs on the top and one on the bottom for both sides of the table. I also set up a stop block to cut out the four five inch bottom plates. Here I'm just attaching the two leg pieces together on either end with three inch screws and then I'll come back and add two more in the center. I used this 2x4 to support the leg while I added the additional screws. I also marked the 2x4 where I wanted the screws to go, that way I could use it as a guide to put the screws in the same spot for every leg. Throughout this whole process, I pre-drilled everything with a countersink bit, but a regular drill bit would be fine as well. These are the bottom plates that will go on the bottom of every leg. I'm just pre-drilling three holes in all of them. This is also the only part of the entire process that I used any glue. You would probably be okay without it, but I wanted to be safe since these were going to be screwed into end grain. I then went ahead and laid everything out to get an idea of the size, and I decided to make the long supports 7 feet long. It was now time to start attaching everything. You want to make sure that you orientate the legs right so that when you add the length and width supports, they'll both be sitting on the bottom plate. If you attach the wrong piece first, you'll end up covering the whole bottom plate, and the other piece won't have anywhere to rest. You want to make sure you check for square as well while you go. To attach the top pieces, I cut out some spacer blocks to hold up one end while I screwed the other side. My camera also randomly stopped recording audio for some parts of the video. Not that the sound of the drills really added much anyway. I added two center supports on the top and bottom as well, and you can do more or less depending on the size of your table. And here I'm adding two screws at the bottom of the 2x4 on an angle to hold up one side of the support while I attach the other side. This worked out pretty well for me.
For the bottom, you can just set one side on a 2x4, since it should only be the thickness of the bottom plate off the ground anyway. The frame is now done and can be flipped over to attach the wheels. It was pretty light, so you shouldn't need any help flipping it. For the wheels, I needed to find a screw that wouldn't fall through the holes of the wheel, so I picked up these quarter by two inch deck screws. I also got washers, but they really weren't necessary. These screws are a quarter inch thick, so you should definitely pre-drill to avoid splitting the wood. I think I ended up using a 3 30 seconds drill bit. As far as wheel placement, I just put them about a half inch away from the inside edge, and this was enough clearance not to hit any of the screws in the bottom plate. The wheels made it a little bit trickier to flip over, but it still wasn't too bad. The audio on my camera came back, so here are the crisp sounds of me lifting plywood. So, I was originally going to do 4x4 four four legs and have the apron come out to the front. The benefit of having this edge overhang is that now I can clamp stuff to the work surface a lot easier. Uh, and so now I have an exposed edge on every side that I'll be able to clamp to. So um, the next step for me is to cut this to size to fit. Um, my circular saw that I ordered hasn't come in yet. So I'll need to be doing this all by a jigsaw, which isn't ideal, but um, it'll work just fine. I went around marking the whole tabletop where I was going to screw it down. I didn't want to put a ton of screws in case I needed to remove the top to modify anything in the future. I first attached the four corners to make sure everything was lined up, and then I pre-drilled all the spots that I marked. I ended up putting about 15 inch and 5 8 screws. So that's it, that's how you build a really simple workbench or outfit table. Really easy to modify. Um, you can build it custom to your size. This probably took me about three hours of total to build and I had to run back to the store. So pretty good, easy build. I'm planning on adding some supports on one end underneath of the plywood. And I'm gonna be drilling dog holes down in there so I can clamp things to my workstation. I'll also be adding a uh, workbench lights eventually as well, and maybe some other things depending on my workflow and what I need, but this was super easy to build. So as far as pricing and materials goes for this, um, I bought 10 2x4x8s, um, and that cost me $47. I bought two sheets of 4x8 
three quarter inch plywood. Um, those were 50 bucks a piece, so I spent $100 on plywood, and that was the main expense. You can use something thinner and lower quality than I did, and it will work just fine. It all depends on your needs. And I only used one sheet. Um, I'm gonna be using the other sheet on the bottom and for some shelves as well. Um, I spent $7 on the three inch screws that I used. Um, it was a 70 pack, um, and I ended up needing, I think, four more screws at the end, but I had some extras. For the casters, I spent $40, um, and I also spent $12 on a 25 pack of these deck lag screws. This is a quarter by two inch lag screw. So in total, I spent about... So while past me is trying to do some quick math, I just wanted to say, thanks for lying to me, Mom. I definitely am going bald. Just roughly around $200 for everything. It was just a little over $200. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.